Belmont Overture, home of 8 a.m. It's about settling down and settling in and trying not to settle for about three miles from the urban core where the not quite wild bald turkey looking so lost and inquisitive next to the stop for the 74 peers into the roseless rosebush up at the pointless oar above one townhouse's swept steps and the U.S. and floral and nautical flags flaunt their calm semaphore. Walking past them today with our stroller, we note as we pass the wreath of real twigs on our next door neighbor's door and beside it another, not sold in any store, made of pipe cleaners and plastic oak leaves. It looks like a nest, something Nathan could put together with the rest of his gregarious preschool class. We have learned to carry everywhere sunscreen and insect repellent and pretzel sticks and aquaphor in case any shrubs scratch the kids. We mean it when we say we like it. We feel sure it's safe around here and once we feel safe it's our nature to say we're unsatisfied and pretend to seek more. Huh. Um, I had not thought of the three full-length collections of my own poems as a triad. He said as he attempted to put the pages of the forthcoming book back in order. I had not thought of them as a, as a triad. But I suppose I shouldn't stop you from seeing them that way. The truth is it's taken me quite a while to see my own books of poetry as books. Uh, I've been much more comfortable. I think I'm still much more comfortable. Certainly I was until quite recently thinking in terms of individual poems where I'll write a poem and I'll see whether the poem feels finished and it will be its own standalone object. Uh, and I might write a poem that is a sequel to that poem, but I haven't thought of books and sequences and uh, albums. Uh, I'm, I'm a little averse to thinking of, of books as books in almost the way people used to be averse to thinking about concept albums. Uh, if, if you're a song-oriented musician, you should be writing songs that stand on their own, whether or not uh, they happen to fit together into a larger whole. Uh, and then that, that said, each of the books of poetry that I've written spoke to the stage of life that I was in uh, and to the alternate lives and, and personae that I could imagine for myself at those times. <laughs>